την ανάγκη να υπάρξουν επενδύσει σε υποδομέ, τεχνολογία και σε ανθρώπινο δυναμικό, προκειμένου να ενισχυθεί η ανταγωνιστικότητα στο επιχειρήν μέσα σε ένα σταθερό φορολογικό περιβάλλον, υπογράμμισε κατά τη διάρκεια ομιλία του στο Ευρωπαϊκό Κοινοβούλιο ο πρόεδρο και διευθύνων σύμβουλο τη Καράτζη ΑΕ, Αντώνη Καράτζη. There was established the term globalization in our, every, in our everyday lives. And we have to do business and we have to compete with companies, with entrepreneurs, a thousand miles away from us. The good news, of course, is that the market is bigger, is wider. We can do more things, but it comes with a cost. It comes with a cost that we have to compete with companies in uh, developing countries, in developing economies, mainly Asiatic ones, who are very competitive, <coughs> very innovative in the last years. And this hurts, in my opinion, the European competitiveness. And Europe should look into it and should do something very, very, very fast. Because uh, if we don't do it now, Already Europe for the last many years have had a very small growth. And what happens when you have a very small growth like that? It, it, is, it happens that in the first difficult times, we are very vulnerable. So uh, I believe that Europe needs to react immediately. We need to take the necessary actions. We need to enhance competitiveness. And by doing that, we should do, uh, uh, we should support investments in infrastructure, investments in technology and of course investments in people. Ο κύριο Καράτζη, ο οποίο ήταν επίσημο προσκεκλημένο και εκ των βασικών ομιλητών εκδήλωση με θέμα τη χρηματοδότηση μικρομεσαίων επιχειρήσεων και την έρευνα, με επίκεντρο του τρόπου με του οποίου οι επιχειρήσει μπορούν να χτίσουν το δικό του ανταγωνιστικό περιβάλλον, έθεσε ω μία από τι βασικέ προτεραιότητε να δώσει η Ευρώπη στη νέα γενιά ευκαιρίε προκειμένου να επενδύσει και να ονειρευτεί ξανά. I believe that there should be uh, a crystal clear, stable environment, a stable taxation system, and of course, everybody talked about that, easy financing. Uh, easy financing for existing companies who want to continue invest and give growth to the European economy. And of course, uh, I believe Europe should give the opportunity to young people who have the dynamism and uh, the initiative to invest and do a startup to start to dream again. Uh, me, Europe need to regain lost competitiveness as soon as possible. We have to look forward in the new era and more importantly to bring Europe to a sustainable growth. I think this is more or less what I had to say. Thank you.